I think that most colleagues, probably the overwhelming majority of colleagues, really want to do the best for their patients. They want to get the best pregnancy chances. And they frequently believe, based on what they hear in lectures, based on what they read in papers, uh, that those are the best options for their patients. I don't put the blame on, on the doctors who do that. I put the blame on the medical journals that publish papers which are nothing but promotional pieces, uh, which are often blatantly biased uh, in favor of commercial interest. Now, once again, I do not want to, to accuse everybody of that kind of a bias. Uh, there are some people who just misread their own data and may believe in, in what they're publishing. Uh, but one very good example for that is the fact that practically every single paper that has been published in the medical literature on the benefits of pre-implantation genetic screening, or PGS, which is the, the biopsy of embryos prior to transfer to determine whether embryos are chromosomally normal, every single one of these papers reported pregnancy rates based on embryo transfer. In other words, when they reported their outcomes, they reported the outcome only on those patients who went through an IVF cycle, who were cultured to blastocyst stage, day five or six, who had embryos on day five or six. Those embryos were biopsied, and they then had normal embryos at least one at minimum, because otherwise they would not have had an embryo transfer. So by reporting pregnancy rate per embryo transfer, they exclude from their reporting patients whose embryos didn't make it to day five. They exclude patients who had a few embryos that made it to day five but when they underwent PGS, had no chromosomally normal embryos. So they are reporting only on the best of the best of the best patients. But that's not how the papers are being presented them. They are then claiming that doing PGS benefits everybody. When indeed, all those patients who didn't even get the chance of an embryo transfer don't show up, and that is a very significant number. Okay? So these are misleading papers, because obviously IVF outcome results should be reported, the medical lingo is, by intent to treat, meaning per cycle start. And if that were to be done, those results would look very differently. Now, colleagues who may be excellent practitioners, but are not educated in the scientific statistical analysis of papers, very frequently don't recognize those subtleties. And that's why I'm not blaming physicians who honestly believe that they are doing the best for their patients. But I do blame the scientists who obviously publish misleading information and to a very, very important degree, the medical journals who, who, who are publishing this, who are accepting those papers, or maybe they should accept them, but at least uh, 
allow critical comments so that the less aware uh, physician uh, sees the context uh, of, of those publications. <laughs>